The Adidas Night Jogger is one of the most searched Adidas sneakers this December, this month, 2019. So seeing as that's the case, I wanted to revert back to you guys with an updated review after wearing several Night Jogger pairs for over six months. So if that's you, you're interested to find out what this sneaker is all about, should you buy it, should you not buy it, what are the pros and cons, this video is for you. <music> If you're new here, you probably don't know that we do a lot of giveaways on the channel. In fact, we're giving away a couple of true wireless earphones, so make sure that you guys are subscribed. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram, join our Facebook community, and then check out the detailed mechanics in the links in the description box. Good luck! In a sentence, I feel that the Adidas Night Jogger is one of the absolute best bang for your buck value for money lifestyle sneakers that adidas released in 2019. three reasons number one it is on trend with the streetwear vibe that exploded in the last three years all around the world you can see by the design the styling the look the vibe the feel it is just right in there in what people are looking for in sneakers today number two it's not just all fluff because it packs a lot of the greatest technology and features that adidas has to offer Offer, which includes the boost midsole, the TPU plugs for additional stability, the 3M reflective hits to be able to give it that extra oomph when it comes to overall style. And lastly, they are affordable. You can actually get some of the pairs in previous colorways, older colorways, already out the outlets or on sale, bringing the price down. Here in the Philippines, it sells for a little over 7,000 pesos. That's roughly 130, 140 US dollars. But you can get them now for half that price in the outlets or on the sales section of the Adidas Philippines website. Now that's the top line. Now what has it been? What has the experience been after wearing the Adidas Night Jogger? on and off for the last six months. Now, please do take note that this is the collaboration with White Mountaineering, but I have worn several others in the past, including the all-white colorway, a white and black colorway, and even a blue variant of the Adidas Night Jogger. If you've been watching the vlog, then you've probably seen some of those pairs pop up every now and then on my videos. Now, this is my favorite one. This is the one with collaboration with outdoor inspired streetwear japanese label white mountaineering i love the work that they've done with adidas in the past and when i found out that they worked on a night jogger i really just went to the adidas store picked it up glad it was still available in my size and brought it home now please do take note that what i'm going to say doesn't necessarily just is restricted to this special edition because what we're going to talk about is going to be the comfort the style and the durability of the night jogger which holds true for the general release model so let's get right into it when it comes to comfort easily 8.5 out of 10 if you will use the adidas ultra boost as 10 out of 10. why is that uh, it is 8.5 which is a good thing don't please don't please don't think that 8.5 is bad 8.5 is good okay now I, I feel that it is great in terms of comfort mainly because of the boost cushioning that you have over here as well as the TPU plugs that you have along at the back as well as the sides which gives the boost more stability. The problem with the NMD or the uh, ZX500RM is that there is a tendency for your feet to be loose or the boost to get mushy really fast because it doesn't have enough stability. That was addressed in my opinion with the Adidas Night Jogger. I have clocked in tens of thousands of steps on my Night Joggers be it the GR release or this white mountaineering model that I have in my hand and I can really tell you that it is one of those few pairs that I would be happy to bring with me when I am traveling when you are about to clock in tens of thousands of steps going to different places for example if you go to Japan if you go to Osaka and Kyoto if you're going all tourist mode and you're just walking and walking and walking the night jogger would be one of my go-to pairs now what about style and when it comes to style I feel that we can give it a 9 out of 10 mainly because of two things. Number one, the streetwear inspiration, the design, the vibe, it's very current, it's very 2019. You have like that exposed foam on the tongue, you have different layers of materials from suede, 
to mesh, to ripstop, and a bunch of other materials that you just see layered all over the shoe. It's very streetwear, especially with the reflective vibe. And apart from that, it is super versatile because you have a lot of color options already to pick from. The shoe, while still young, it's already mature in the market. So you can buy it in white, you can buy it in black, you can buy it in blue, you can buy it in a variety of colors. A lot of them already are, are, are actually on sale, which makes it even more affordable to own one or two pairs in your collection. Again, again, this is my favorite. It's black and red, which is just, you know, super cool and super easy to wear, be it with jeans and a shirt or jogging pants or any of those combat utility type of pants when it comes to streetwear. I just love the vibe and the pop that it brings to the table. Now let's move on to durability. And this is where I think the, this is the Achilles seal, so, so to say, of the Adidas Night Jogger. When it comes to durability, uh, Adidas was able to address the issue with the boost getting mushy by putting in the Continental outsole with their other sneakers, such as the Adidas Ultra Boost. However, you don't get that with the Night Jogger. It just comes in your typical, it's kind of thick though, like some sort of like rubber outsole, uh, but it doesn't give you that same durability and protection for the boost compared to the Adidas Ultra Boost. And I have noticed, especially with my first Night Jogger, pair not this one because it's still like two to three months old uh, that the boost has loosened up quite a little bit so it's not the, the the bounce back the energy response the firmness is not there compared to the first day that I laced them on so I really feel that the night jogger is not a shoe that will last you a lifetime duh it won't last you maybe even a decade or maybe a couple of years mainly because if you abuse it and if you use it as a daily walker or a daily driver the boost eventually might get a little bit too loose and it will not give you that same performance that you would love and that you enjoyed when you first put it on in the first few months that you actually rocked it so that for me only big issue with the night jogger probably i would put it at Durability wise, maybe 7.5 out of 10. Now it might be different for you guys, but I'm really just keeping it real. I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible here. So if it's not the same for you, then good for you. However, that is the situation that I have with my personal experience of the Night Jogger. What totally wins the debate though, is really the price. Like what I mentioned earlier in terms of value for money, this sells for a little over 7,000 pesos here in the Philippines, but there are pairs being sold for less than 4,000, less than half the price on outlets or on the sales section of the Adidas website if you chance upon it. So you have an excellent chance of picking what up below retail at an amazing price point. And if you happen to get that opportunity, and if you don't have a streetwear inspired shoe yet, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and do so. Because that's actually my final recommendation with this shoe. After six months of going through several pairs, I can honestly tell you guys that it is a great casual lifestyle sneaker. Especially if you get it at a discount. Now that's my recommendation for you. What's my recommendation for Adidas? Oh, as if they're actually watching this, right? Now, I feel that 2020 can still be an exciting year for the Adidas Night Jogger. I really think that they shouldn't just set it aside and introduce another boost equipped silhouette like what they did in previous years because this one is still very much open to a lot of collaboration uh, in 2020. Uh, for example, because so far I've only seen like White Mountaineering. Please correct me if there are other great collaborations with the Night Joggers that I've missed. I mean, they should get this silhouette put it in the hands of hyper creative people such as Pharrell Williams, maybe Nigo of Human Made, or I don't know, Undercover, or I mean, wait, they're with Nike. But, but you guys get the idea, right? Get this in the hands of creative people and see what they can do with it and let it hit the market. Because that's what I would love to see more, more collaborations with the Night Jogger so that you can elevate it, that, that hype, that, you know, that buzz behind the sneaker and extend the overall lifespan of the shoe. Because personally, again, I keep saying it, I love it. One of my favorite Adidas sneakers of 2019. Now, since I have you guys here, you're probably wondering what are other alternatives to the Night Jogger. You may want to consider the Adidas Oswego, which is some sort of like Yeezy 350 vibe going on. But my main issue here is that while it is comfortable with the Adipree midsole, Boost is still life and that you don't get boost with the Oswego. So that's actually one of the biggest reasons why I still feel that the Night Jogger is arguably the best lifestyle casual shoe of Adidas, at least for a general release pair for 2019. Now at this point, I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think of the Adidas Night Jogger? Let me know down below in the comment section if you own a pair, if you're planning to buy a pair. 
I would love to hear from you. Also, if you have any other questions about the night jogger, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer as much as possible, especially in the first few days of upload of this video. And before we wrap everything up, let me just again remind you, we are doing giveaways on the channel. I would love for one of you guys, especially a new viewer, to win it. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on my social accounts. All of the details of the giveaways are down below in the description box. Good luck. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our video for today. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.